I, I, I don't consider myself a bad person. I mean, I, I make mistakes, sure, but for the most part, I, I think I'd consider myself a good person. I mean, I'm good to my parents, and I treat my girlfriend right. I take her on dates, and I buy her things and all that, and I even go to church every Sunday. But once, just once, I want to do something really seriously bad. You know, because we, we are put on this earth with free will. I mean, you can choose to, to do this or, or, or do that or whatever. We can choose to be good or bad. And I feel like most people are just good because they're afraid that they might go to jail or, or go to hell or some reason like that. And You know, a guy once said that anything done out of fear has no moral value. I, I truly believe that. I think that the only way to truly be good is if you've tried being good and you've tried being bad and you realize that being good feels better. So in a way, the only way to truly be good is, is to know what it's like to do something really bad. But it's gotta be something absolutely cruel and horrible and unnecessary, motiveless. Because I have absolutely no intention of getting caught. <laughs> There's this old sewer that no one uses, where no one ever goes. Thought maybe I would kidnap a little girl, chain her up down there, and leave her crying and screaming until her voice became hoarse. I'd just leave, never to return. I'd leave her there alone in the dark likely for days until she starved to death. Now, and I want to be clear, I am not any kind of pervert or anything like that, but whatever I could do to make her experience worse, to ruin the lives of her family in the process, I'll do. But it's got to be something bigger than that. You know, this, this has to affect a lot of people. Like, God, like, um, like, like when John Lennon was killed. John Lennon can't be dead. <laughs> you know, it, it's gotta be someone famous. You know, I thought about the Pope. But he's always surrounded by those Secret Service guys and riding around in his bulletproof Pope mobile. You know? And I've never been to Italy, so there's that. <sighs> it's gotta be more convenient. It's gotta be someone without armed guards. It needs to be someone right here in Gotham. It should be the Batman. got a gun. My father gave this to me. He's got a whole collection of guns. He's a big Second Amendment kind of guy, a big believer in citizens' rights to bear arms. And the best part is, there are millions of guns just like this in the city. I know how to use it too. 
My dad taught me. I'll uh, do the deed, then I'll flee the scene. No calling card, no double-headed coin, no coded riddle. I won't laugh like a madman either. I'll just leave. You know, for all I know, he could be sitting in a secret lair and watching me on his surveillance system, monitoring everything I'm saying. But I'm sure he's not. Because he's one of the good guys. He wouldn't be spying on innocent people because that would be wrong. No, no. He is out there right now, stopping criminals, striking fear into the hearts of the guilty. An inspiration and a comfort to the innocent. He'll be sadly missed, especially by me. You know, one day he'll be face to face with Two Face, or, or tangling with Poison Ivy, or in the secret lair of um. Uh, gosh, shoot, what are the name of those three guys in those animal masks? I can never remember. There are so many crazy characters out there. <laughs> anyway, eventually. There will be the big boss, the final villain. And Batman will confront him. Throw down your umbrella, Penguin. You've lost. There will be a final battle, a thrilling chase with, uh, with the giant typewriter or something. A swift and decisive climax. Batman has won. He'll leave the bad guy there, lying on the ground, defeated. Left to ponder and reflect on his ways, because let's face it, crime doesn't pay. And for a moment, the Batman will pause and turn his face, illuminated by a single light a splendid avenger of the night. And then, from the shadows of an alley, or from, from a window up above, or, or a grassy knoll, or somewhere, there will be a glint. And then, I'll miss him. Oh, I, I don't mean I won't hit him. No, the, the bullet will most certainly find its mark. What I mean to say is, he'll be missed. I've always been his biggest fan. But I will also be his greatest enemy. And by the time that anyone finds his body lying there, I will be long gone. I'll destroy this tape. I won't have a motive. I won't leave a clue. I'm just an innocent guy. And then I think I'll finish my college education. I'll marry my girlfriend and, and have a few kids. A boy and a girl would be nice. I'll live a good and blameless life. And I'll go to heaven when I die.